What is going on, YouTube? YouTubers, fam, followers, subscribers that have been following me for a little bit, all 53 of you, and those new ones, um, I haven't uploaded in a really, really long time. To me, it feels like it's been forever. Probably the same thing to you. Why has that been? Well, I've been really busy with work and stuff at the church. Now, I'm gonna show you guys what I've gotten for the car. So in this car here, we have the oil pan gasket. It looks like this, okay? It's kind of metal with rubber inside. We have front seal, rear crank seal. This fella right here is the oil filter housing, all right? And then this is the valve cover. So right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be starting by stripping the motor. So if we come back over here, I'm gonna be taking the serpentine belt off. Okay, and this is just a vision from outside of the car. This is the tensioner right here. I already put my Allen key in there to take the serpentine belt off. All right, and here's our AC compressor. We're gonna be taking this off. Another tensioner, okay? Then here we have the, yeah, there it is. The thermostat housing. So you guys kind of have an understanding of how it all works. All of this is going to be replaced except for AC compressor is gonna come out of the other car. Water pump is gonna be replaced and also the thermostat housing is going to be replaced. So I'm going to be showing you guys. Honestly, this is the oil filter housing gasket. It goes like in between there. This whole thing needs to come out, including the alternator. So that it all comes out relatively very easy. We have to take this bolt off for the alternator to come out. And then we also have to take this guy over here off for it to come out. And I'll show you guys how it's done. But first, we got to take the serpentine belt off. Okay, guys. So here we are. I hope you guys can hear me well and also see what's going on. So for this tensioner here, we're going to push it down like this which this fella is really really acting up like it's been there for years without moving which it has and then the belt comes out okay also for this guy we have to take out the AC belt because they overlap each other so we're gonna take the AC belt off that tensioner and there it goes it comes out very simple very very simple now we're gonna move forward to taking this idler poly goes through the same bolt that holds the alternator and then so we're gonna be taking the alternator out now all right fellas so this is a 16 believe it or not I cracked my snap on 16 let me see if I can get it on camera there is a crack here oh, oh let me see if you guys can see it there and there which I need to remember to tell uh, my snap on supplier to replace it because I totally forgot about that he was actually here today and I did not replace it okay guys so here we go so we are gonna crack this loose okay and we gotta get this fellow down here loose also Just another thing is that I believe you got to also take the power steering pump out to be able to get the oil filter housing off. Since we're out of the car, we're going to speed things forward and use an impact because, yo, for real. Here we go. Pop. Golden. Golden. You can't mistake this, fellas. Because they are different length. The longer one goes for the top. I recommend replacing this because these do fail. I just had a car this week that this fell off and the belt was still riding on this metal piece where the bearings are supposed to be. So where you're doing all this, 
Repl I will replace all the tensioners and the idler pulley. Always make sure to inspect. So now our alternator will come out. There we go. So now we can have a better view of what's going on here. This whole thing is the oil cooler housing. I mean the oil filter housing. Okay? And this is your Vanna's solenoid. Let me see if you guys can see it on the frame. Okay, you guys can't see it on the top. Let me fix it up real quick. Here, I will bring you guys around. Um, here we got the oil filter housing. Okay? Here we got oil pressure sensor. Here we have our Vanna's line. The oil fit line to the Vanna's. Also, this is kind of more difficult to get to once it's in the car. So if you have it out, at least replace the washers or even replace the whole thing. This one you can see oil residue in here. So it's been leaking. So this, I'm gonna take care of. I didn't order the parts, but I need to take care of this before this engine goes in the car, for sure. Here's the tensioner, okay? So we have to take the tensioner off. The tensioner sits on this whole housing okay and then the power steering pump sits on that housing as well ah not paying attention so the power steering also sits in that housing all these bolts are different size all the bolts holding that i will show you guys first thing before i go forward i'm gonna open this up to make sure that all the oil drains out of this housing because i don't think i did that when i took the oil out of the car Okay guys, something I will do is uh, I'm going to take off these hoses so we have a better, better view. They are annoying me right now. Okay guys, I want to show you guys something really briefly. Okay guys, my phone had ran out of recording time so I cleared some memory in there. You guys can see this shaking in here. This plastic piece here on the hydraulic it's gone so we also we're going to be replacing that now we're going to use our 13 as suspected bmw they like 13s we're going to take this fella out. also i am going to be taking out this fella so i can get to the bolt in the back that's an eight guys if you're wondering what that is It's an eight right here. And then now we're going to be going back to a 13 because 13s are awesome. And they take the parts. Okay, here we go. So now, guys, we have not a good view at all. I still didn't take this out. Okay guys, so what we have here is the oil, I mean the power steering pump already removed. I put the bolts back where they belong. I'm gonna be doing the same thing with the tensioner bolt. So we can remember kind of like where things go and we don't lose anything. Before I take this off, which is what holds the oil cooler. I mean, the, I keep saying oil cooler because on the newer BMWs, oil coolers fail often, the gasket. And um, it's the same idea, but the cooler is like stuck in the front. That's why I keep saying that. I do a lot of those a day. We're gonna take the vandals line off from here in the back and uh, we're gonna be removing those 13s. These are all 13s and those are different lengths, all of them, except for maybe two of them. These two might be the same length, but then they all change in length. So you kind of really wanna remember 
or make a system for yourself of where they go. Okay guys, so here we go. This is a 19. The boat for the Vanas is a 19. Let me go get a rag in case some residue oil comes out. We can catch it. We try to work as clean as we can. I don't wanna have this rag here. Just in case. Good job, no oil in there. You know what's so funny? Whoever worked on this before, uh, not the greatest job, but you know, that's why we're here. That's why we're going through this motor before we even put it in the car. And now we're gonna take out those uh, 13s that we've been talking about. Just want to let you guys know that I already drained the oil that goes in here. I loosened this up so all the oil goes in there and there's no vacuum cause. Now that they're all loose, we still might have a little bit of oil left in there. These are all 13s, okay? We're gonna take it all together. I don't want to take the bolts out yet. They're just kind of going to be sitting there. Here we go, and there it goes, all the oil. And once we clean that up, we're gonna reassemble it and get going with it. I think that's what we're gonna call it for today. We're just gonna do this and then we'll make a different video on the valve cover, then the oil pan, and so on guys. One at a time, one cookie at a time. Thank you. Okay guys, sadly we don't have enough space to finish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the video into two. I'll upload this today and the rest tomorrow. Take care.